So the folks on the far left will literally stop at nothing to push their narrative, even if it means endangering their own children. Remember the story I did about the hero police officer from Pacific Grove, California, who saved the lives of two black kayakers who was fired by his spineless chief because this woke city councilwoman was offended by the bumper stickers and the flags he had on his personal vehicle? Well, it turns out that particular city councilwoman, Jenny McAdams, lied to doctors and other health officials in order to get her son vaccinated, who was under the age of 12. So according to this article, Jenny McAdams, first elected to the city council in 2018, admitted to sources that she misled health officials so that her youngest son could get immunized. There were numerous attempts to get in contact with her to get her to comment on this, but she refused. However, she did post on social media uh, saying, my little guy, sorry, quote, my little guy is under 12 and not yet able to get vaccinated. Please wear a mask to protect those who are not able to get vaccinated. In a July 24th post to her social media, she said, save the elderly and our children. Get the damn vaccine, quote unquote. Guys, the left are the ones constantly claiming that they're pro-science, yet they can't seem to comprehend the CDC's guidelines when it comes to age restrictions and approval for vaccination. Guys, I've looked at the research on this from the CDC and from the FDA in deciding whether or not I should get my 16-year-old daughter vaccinated. And it turns out that children, small children, have a much different physiological makeup than that of teens and adults. And the health experts are simply not aware or certain whether or not young children would face some very serious and deadly side effects if they were given the vaccine. Yet that doesn't seem to be a deterrent for the most radical among the left, because let's face it, we can't let our children's safety get in the way of a good narrative, now can we? So Councilwoman McAdams, if you're not too busy trying to destroy the livelihood of good, hardworking, ethical police officers, maybe you can just take a moment and educate yourself so as not to put your own children at risk. 